My pecan white chocolate cranberry cookies are crisp on the outside, yet when you take a bite, they yield to a chewy center. And when I pair it with a pecan white chocolate spread, well, it takes nut cookies to a new level of deliciousness. And these are so easy to make, you can whip them up by hand. So what I have is a quarter cup of unsalted butter, softened to room temperature, and I'm adding to that half a cup of light brown sugar. This is sort of how you would start a recipe for just good old chocolate chip or oatmeal cookies. So I'll quickly mix up this batter. I'm just creaming the butter and brown sugar together just to smooth it out. All right, now that this is nice and smooth, I can add my next ingredient that helps keep these cookies chewy in the center, a tablespoon of honey. I'll work that in. Now I need two egg yolks. I use two yolks instead of a whole egg because if I were to use a whole egg, I'd end up with a crispier cookie. Now a little bit of vanilla, just a teaspoon. A quick stir in, and then I can add the dry ingredients. I do want to sift the dry ingredients in because I have some spices and some baking soda to work in. First though, the flour. Three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon half a teaspoon of ground ginger, the final spice, a quarter teaspoon of clove, and then just a little salt, quarter teaspoon. And I'll sift that in. So I've got a delicious combination of ingredients, starting with three quarters of a cup of chopped pecan pieces, and these are lightly toasted. I find that that brings out that sort of buttery toastiness that tastes so good inside a cookie. And now to balance out that delicate crunch of the pecan, I'm adding half a cup of white chocolate chips and half a cup of dried cranberries. So I make sure everything's covered here. You could bake these cookies as regular drop cookies, just dropping spoonfuls onto a tray but I wanted to dress them up a little bit. I found by putting it in a removable bottom tart pan that I've lightly greased, it looks beautiful, and then I cut it into wedges. The other thing I discovered is the surface gets crispy, but the center oh, stays wonderfully chewy. So I'll drop the dough into the pan, and now I want to press it to level it, and I find that's easiest to do using my fingers, but I just dip them in a little flour and push that dough right up to the edges and as level as you can get it. Now this is all ready to pop in the oven, which I have at 350, and I give this 14 to 16 minutes to bake. When you see a nice, even golden brown on the surface, it's time to pull it from the oven. And here we go, look at that. It looks like a giant cookie. In fact, if you were to write happy birthday and chocolate on that, I'd be thrilled to get that on my birthday. Now, I've let it cool in the tin. Before I cut this into wedges, I want to make this pecan white chocolate spread. And it all starts with the pecans, one and a half cups that I've lightly toasted. And there's something about that toasty butteriness of pecans that makes the spread taste like cookies. And I'm adding to that half a cup of dark brown sugar, as well as half a cup of icing sugar. And the first thing I'll do is pulse this just to finely grind the pecans. Now, to turn this crumbly mixture into a spreadable paste, I add three ounces of white chocolate. And what happens with the friction of the food processor blade is it melts the chocolate. I do also need a bit of vegetable oil, just for that smoothness. And I found when I was playing with the spread, I needed to get a more intense cookie dough color. So I add two tablespoons of molasses for just a touch of spice, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of salt. And now I blend this until it turns into a paste.
Right now, it's a bit soft to serve, so what I do is I just pop it in the fridge for a couple hours, just to set up that white chocolate again. Now this has been chilled already and sat out at room temperature. So now it's time to portion up my cookie, my giant cookie, into wedges. Peel away the bottom of the pan. As you start cutting, you'll get a sense of the crispness on the outside and the soft, chewy center. What a delicious looking little cookie. And what a different way to present it. Even when they're cut into wedges and then stored, they still stay nice and soft in the center. Imagine presenting this at the end of even a fancy dinner party. Crispy on the outside, soft in the center. And to top it off with a pecan white chocolate spread, what an absolute treat. Mmm, mm-hmm.